Hello and welcome, or welcome back to Megan TT Hobbies. I have a pretty big stack here of 2019 Bowman Draft that I thought I would share with you. I just finished my 1970s video as well, but you're just going to see my our dining table um, while we look at awesome cards. If you don't know, this is a set of 200 cards that I tried to get all signed. Um, debating on if we say it's out of 199 or 198 this year because one of the guys has retired and moved out of back out of the country and then another one actually unfortunately passed away uh ryan costello um in the fall kind of winter so maybe we'll say it's out of 199. so these have only taken you know a couple weeks at most uh, this is actually coming back four of three from Armani Smith, and I've seen him do this for a lot of folks and send this card and the shiny chrome and then two paper for me. And let's just look at the back real quick. Seventh round pick for the Giants. These are all sent to home private addresses um, that are mainly available on an SCN forum. Signing three of three, Matt Walner in the Twins organization. All I had was paper for him. He was actually a first round draft pick. He was the 39th overall pick this year. Jake Magnum on three of three. He signed in this silver, which this one actually turned out fairly well. And then there's two more there. And let me tell you about him. Fourth round pick for the Mets in this year's draft. Hopefully the glare's not too bad. I'm going to try to uh, zoom out here just a smidge. So bear with me on that so you can see a little bit more of the card. Um, he, this one from Hayden Wisniewski wrote a nice letter back to us. Yep, that's much better. Signed three of three in black, Yankees organization, sixth round pick. Um, at this point, my piece of advice for getting these autographs would be, um, like I said, look at uh, SCN, and there's a whole thread about successes. But uh, also, I would look at sending to spring training um, because they're going to be there before too long. Pitchers and catchers, I think it's like 20-something days, and then everybody else, uh, especially the minor league guys, into February and into March. Signing 4 of 4, Isaiah Gilliam. I had a heritage for him, so I sent that along. And some of these I'll be able to use for trade or if something smudges or gets really screwed up, then I'll have a good one. 20th round pick. Pick number 603 in the 19 draft. Let me know below too um, who you're going to send to for spring training. Uh, I've got some Bowman draft to send out. I have not started prepping at all for that, but I will have some Bowman draft to send out mainly to, uh, guys who were outside of the country for the off season. This is Chris Murphy, Red Sox organization, um, sixth round pick. See like this one kind of messed up, but signing nicely there in black.
And the ones that I have received back seem to be the norm of what other folks are receiving until you run into this one. Never thought I would see it. None other than Royce Lewis. And if you remember, I don't know, a couple months ago, I got him through Fall League 2. He signed this one to Megan. No problem with that. And then I'm just going to hide it real quick. But on the Chrome, he sent it to our family. But Royce Lewis was like impossible to get for me TTM until these last couple months. So thank you to him. Isaiah Campbell. This is the second round pick for the Mariners. And I think he inscribed all of them. Yep. So to Megan, to Megan, and then the shiny one to Megan. That's a refractor. And he was actually born in Portugal. Quinn looks like Priester. Signed very, very nicely. I like this. Pirates. And let's look. He is actually a... First round pick for um, the Pirates. Number 18th overall. So not only did he do this, but then he wrote this. It says, Megan, how amazing for your boys. I'd only say it's always team first. Best of luck to them and your entire family in 2020. So that is a first round draft pick here, writing this handwritten note back. Hopefully I'll uh, get to see him play in the Pirates organization before too long. And, and Tony Kelly on the very shiny chrome refractor uh, Brewers organization. Second round, 65th overall pick. And cool enough, he is from Chicago, so being in the Brewers organization, he'll stay pretty close to home. And uh, hopefully we'll see him in the Midwest League. What Brewers are the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers? Now, this is amazing. A really high draft pick, 15th overall, none other than Will Wilson, who was... Just involved in one of those trades, actually. So he signed two of two. Matt Centurino. Signed three of three. Twins organization, second round pick, 54th overall. And I think he... Responded back. Yep. Sell it. It says, Dear Megan, thanks for reaching out. This past year has been a whirlwind for me. I hope your new boys are growing, going to grow up loving baseball as much as me. I never would have developed some of the friendships I have today without playing on a team. Good luck with your collection. And then he signed it. So that was a really nice response back from him. Jake Ag Agnos. And I don't know why I sent four, but apparently I did. So if anybody's working on this set and needs one of those, I think that's signed in blue. It's pretty dark, but it's definitely signed in blue. Fourth round pick, 135th overall for the Yankees.
and I do believe, oops, sorry about that. I do believe he responded. So, he wrote it to our family. Thank you for the support. Last spring was a crazy spring, but was awesome. Sports have taught me so many valuable lessons that be, can be translated to many aspects of my life. Whatever you do in life, do it to the best of your ability. Thank you for the support, and God bless. Go Yankees. So, you know, when you ask these guys some, some questions or for pieces of advice, um, I said it in the NFL video I just did, but get some pretty amazing responses. Seth Johnson from the Rays organization, another first round pick. This is amazing that these first round picks are signing. So sign the paper and then the chrome. So we would see him coming through with Bowling Green, hopefully, in the Midwest League. And then, Megan, thank you for reaching out to me. Congratulations on adopting. I appreciate the kind words as well. And he signed it. So if this doesn't get you excited about baseball, it's right around the corner. Um, I will actually have a... Um, video coming up soon for some in-person successes. I did some of the Cardinals caravan winter warm-up stuff. Um, it'll probably definitely be later this week. So another, 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 another first round pick. 13th overall, Kiani Cavaco. Um, this one turned out all right. And man, shout out to the Twins guys for signing lots that one smeared and then that one's pretty good but what's that the third or fourth first round pick hopefully some more come in this week before the uh, guys over the next month and two month or two start heading back or heading to spring training so this is a first round pick, just not from this year. I don't know what is up with that because I did prep these. I might try to uh, resend to him, but from Dane Dunning, 2016, first round pick for actually the Nationals and now he's in the White Sox. But yeah, signed nicely there in uh, blue Sharpie, but I don't know what's going on with that because that one, which is the heritage one, turned out fine. Maybe once uh, spring training hits, I'll try to resend the, the paper one to him. But thank you to him for that success. Got two or three more here. Um, I think I shared this one already, but I'll do it just because it's here in my stack. Stack, Brett, I think it's Beatty. So signed one of one and he signed the chrome, which I need the paper um, really for my set. But he was the 12th overall pick. Um, I think I'm gonna try to resend him either this week, like to the private address or a few weeks from now to the Mets spring training with just the paper. Um, because he seems to mainly be just signing one of one. And in this case, he signed one of two, but he signed the uh, the shiny one. Uh, Cal Mitchell, Pirates organization from 2017. He's been in Bowman Draft before, but there's this year's. And then the Heritage. If you've been with me, you know that I sometimes see the Pirates AAA team play. So hopefully I'll get him to see him play this year. And then it says, if you do at least one thing every day to make yourselves better players, you'll end up being 
pretty dang good. And he, he signed it with his first name. Uh, this last one just recently came in either Friday or Saturday. It has seen better days. Took a couple weeks to get back. Um, I'm hoping we don't have card issues here. Because it looks like it's dropped in a puddle or... Uh, I don't know, dropped in the snow or something. But signing pretty nicely here. The chrome smeared just a tad, but the papers look beautiful from Tyler Baum from the Oakland A's organization. Second round pick, 66th overall. So we should definitely see him coming through what the A's are. I can't remember, but they're somewhere in the Midwest League. But then he wrote, Megan, thank you so much. Hope to see you in Stockton as well. Go A's. Good luck with the two boys. That is very special. So thank you to him for that. And I always write, like, I hope to see you in whatever level that might be, like, a stretch for them for the season. Um, I think it's Burlington B's that are the A's affiliate in the Midwest League and then Stockton would be another bump up. Because you know these are these are these are kids at this point in their twenties and maybe in their teens that have just recently gotten drafted. So try to send some some words some nice nice words to them. That is it. That is the catch up on Bowman draft. I don't have the total number. I really need to get organized on that. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Check me out on Instagram as well under Megan TT Hobbies. I post some there. And again, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've gone to caravans or if you've gotten any baseball returns back this offseason. Have a great day.